Hello everybody, my name is Glenn. I am Darth Holds, um the artist Darth Holds. Uh, I just want to, I'm just going to go through one of my tracks, how I recorded it, some of the process of, you know, what I did. I'm not going to go into massive detail because that would take hours, but um, this was one of the, I'm just going to use this song as a, you know, this is pretty much the same process that I use every time I do a song. Um, which is mainly, you know, picking up a guitar or a piano, getting some lyrics, getting some melodies, idea, ideas, and then just taking it from there, really, and then building on that. So this is the project file. Um, it's it's quite big. Um, it's in 4K as well. So if you're watching in 1080p, it might be a little bl blurry, but you you'll you'll get it. But um, I've let you down. so yeah, here's. I've no doubt um, YouTube's going to pick up the copyright for that now. So, um, I'll just do it in verse and chorus, and I'll just go through each track and show you the elements. So, this is the chorus. So that's the chorus. So I'll go through each track and kind of explain which instruments I'm using and stuff. So here I'm using a Oberheim emulation. I love this plugin, Brainworks. And then Korg M1, sorry, Korg Poly 6, standard synthwave bass synth instrument. Um, nothing fancy on here, I don't think. Oh, I did use Squasher actually. So this Squasher on there, which is Cubase's own. Um, plug-in, um, a little bit of uh, fab filter compression there, and then a little bit of interesting EQ curve there, and then down here we have standard That's using Reason Rack plugin. I like this layers thing for pad sounds and stuff. It's really cool. A funky little guitar there. I played that. Um, just nothing special, but uh, again, just to give it a little funk. I like a little funk and then standard sweeps. And we have standard 80s Lindrum sample, probably off splice, as long as, uh, as well as the snare as well, off spice, splice. Um, the hi-hats, I'm just using addictive drums, just for the hi-hats. Um, tambourine, always put a bit of tambourine on the choruses, brighten it up a bit, make it lively. The clap, again, is a sample. Uh, sounds like a Lindrum sample, lots of reverb on. Yep. This is the um, Cubase's Lexicon 224 emulation. Sounds amazing. Use it on everything that. Then we have... Mm. 
Ashley Oberhausen. Again, this brain, this this instrument from Brainworks is um, it's just uh, it's just so good. It sounds really fat and nice, you know. Uh, I've got uh, some Echo Boy on there. Nothing special with the uh, EQ. Again, other than bass, I generally roll everything off a little, at the bottom a little bit. And then under there we have... Serum for, for this sound. So we've got the LFO side-chaining tool. Standard. Um, again, that's the EQ on there. Just bringing out the uh, top end there to poke through, and then dropping all the bottom off it. Don't know what was it. What was it before? Yeah. You can hear all the bottom end come in and. That would uh, that would mush everything up. Um, so then we have the vocals. So the chorus, um, the, the the chorus is in two parts. Uh, the second part is is a repeat, and then on the um, on the repeat we have the vocal using the uh, vocoder, which is um, vocal synth. Isotope vocal synth, which they kindly sent me actually. Very kind of them. I uh, did a little video on uh, how to use it and stuff, and yeah, very nice of them. So I'm using that for backing vocals, and then the main chorus vocals are. Take me home. I'm feeling tired and I'm lost and a little weary Don't want to be alone We can lay for So that's the, um, so the, the chorus is, uh, like I say, in two parts So it builds up on the second one um, And then I layer all the Take me home On this song, I think I've done it on a couple of others as well Like I said, I use the vocoder really like thickens everything up and adds to it arms around me would you take me home i'm feeling tired and i'm lost in a little weary don't wanna be alone we can lay for a while with your arms around me so that's uh that's the chorus um so there's a sample here um Um, oh, I didn't show you something actually. There's a perhaps I did. Yeah, I thought there was a Jubiterate on there somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. So on the second half of the chorus, some um, Hammond as well. And on the um, on the end of the uh, Jupiter Eight stabs, which is um, Altoria Jup Eight V Jupiter Eight emulation, at the end of there I have a um, so I automated the um, a, a long reverb. Yeah, nice. It's funny how uh, we have also a Nexus preset. I'm 
probably another Nexus preset, yeah. They're little uh, tinkly bits. They're the little strawberries on top of the pie. So that's the chorus. The verses, um, oh yeah, so I'm just going to show you this uh, sample, this orc stab. So it's the actual, it's the, anybody remember, it's the Furlight orc stab, which was actually from, um, um, I think it's called Igor Stravinsky. So I, down, so I downloaded the actual original. So all the samples are actually all the samples you get are all they're all dirty and nasty, and um, I just thought I'd uh, get it off myself. So and then I put that into uh, the sampler track there, uh, and did it myself. Thought I'd show you that. And then the verses, pretty much everything. The only thing that's different there is that the drums are slightly different. Um, I, I'm using separate drums. So that when the chorus comes in, it, it, it's more impact. You know, this slightly... Uh, I think that is, uh, that's Cubase's own groove agent, which I just, I think I imported a couple of samples. Uh, Vocal-wise, processing on the vocals. Um, the moon is out, I'm looking down. I can see the floor, my head is spinning. So I've got a little bit of autotune, more for the sound than um, more for the sound than the actual tuning. It's not really tuning it. Uh, for tuning, I use uh, Very Audio, Cubase's. Uh, yeah, Cubase's Very Audio. Um, we made it deep. Although I didn't tune that. That's interesting. The moon is out. I'm low. Yeah, tune that one. So, uh, yeah, I use Cubase's own tuning plugin because it, it's just really good. The moon is out, I'm looking down. You know, I just find down, down. I'm looking down. Miss that. Um, my vocal chain is Fab Filter EQ. Just taking some low end out of the vocals. The um, the old um, 1176 Bluey there. Um, this is um, the CS1 from UAD. Um, I use this on every vocal, uh, you know, because it has this um, LA2A emulation here and it just sounds really good. Uh, I'm using the, a little bit of EQ on here as well, so I'm taking out a bit of nasal there and taking a little bit of um, um, 1.8 kilohertz there and that's it and then uh, a bit of deessing and um, and then echo boy I think um, that's used automated on here anyhow I've wandered blind never watch knowing this. you're the light that guides me it took a while so that's just used um, for that little section um and that's it really um the master the master bus for everything to realize without your glow my heart feels so I do a hard cut at you know normally about 30 hertz and just ray just added a little bit at the top end there one and a half db shelving just at the top to give it a little brightness um 
this is a little stereo trick. Um, I'm not going to go into it properly here, but um, it's empty. I let you know. But it uses mid side um, on the EQ, just at the bottom and the top end. So the bottom is more mono, and the top end is more stereo. So as you can see, but that's for another video. Um, classic 2500. Uh, using that as a mastering compressor. It looks like I tried the um, the SSL, um, but the, the, yeah, I, I didn't prefer it obviously. And then the fab filter limited the rent at the end. Uh, it wasn't mastered. It was just this, just literally how it came out. So you know, I didn't send it off for master. I do all my mastering myself as well. You probably should um, let somebody else master it, but. Yeah, I mean, if you like the sound of it, I, you know, I'd, once I've done it, I've, I've got the studio speakers, and then it then it goes to my kids' boombox, then it goes to my car, um, and there's another Sony um, little Bluetooth speaker that I play on. Basically, if it sounds good on every one of those, then um, you're there, really. When you get here. So yeah, have a listen to it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts. Um, did you enjoy it? You know, do you like the song? Would you like to see how I did any of the other songs? Um, just let me know. Uh, have a good day. Bye.